trailer, I'm gonna get her haltered up so that we can get her in the trailer and get her rushed over to the vet. my channel for those of you that are new welcome welcome to today's vlog guys i'm so excited for today's vlog i feel like i say that all the time but i'm very excited because um i am finally home from italy so if you guys don't know didn't watch the ending of my last vlog um i was in italy for 10 days but it felt like forever um, but it was so much fun um but in that last video i said it was going to be a while since i was going to be filming again not posting again because I actually pre-filmed a bunch of stuff so that you guys wouldn't miss anything, um, my, my normal posting schedule while I was in Italy. So here I am back from Italy and um, I think you guys are gonna be seeing this video tomorrow. So it's kind of caught back up to my real time. So I technically got home two days ago, um, a Thursday night, really, really late at night. So I only saw like the dog and stuff. I was so tired. We did so many hours of flying and being jet lagged from the time change. It's six hour difference. And then Friday, which was yesterday, I've been sick, so I've been fighting that off. So I haven't really interacted with most of the animals. But here I am Saturday and I am feeling a lot better. So you know what, why don't we just kick it right off and I have to clean stalls right away. So gonna clean stalls, let all the horses in, and do the normal stuff. But with this long winded intro, the reason for this vlog, the main topic of this vlog, is while I was in Italy, something very tragic happened to one of our animals. So we'll get into that um, very scary situation. And of course, when you're thousands of miles away and can't really help and do anything about it, it's even more scary. So we'll get into that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start getting right into this vlog. If you guys are excited for today's vlog, if you guys are excited that I'm finally back in real time, then make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. All right, you guys, let's get right into this vlog. Mike's started feeding the two in the barn. Hey, you guys. What's up? I miss you. Dinky, I heard you were a bad goat. Just kidding, <laughs> you didn't say that. Didn't say that. A bad goat. But this weekend we are finally, now that I'm back, gonna clean out this stall so that the goats can go back into living in there and not our stall. Sometimes Dinky gets really mad at the goats when I'm around. Hi Dinky. Hi. Hi. All right, well, let's go clean a stall. First stall is done. It was really good to clean stalls again. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but Mike surprised me with getting new shavings. My fine shavings that I really like again, so I'm so happy about that. I hated using the big, thick shavings and it just made it, the experience that much better. But what's really funny is that they're actually like extra, extra fine, which we are back to getting the same ones that we used to get, which are fine shavings, but they're extra, extra fine. So it was like even that much better. I don't think I've ever mucked a stall with that fine of shavings before, so really loving that. I don't know, maybe I'm just like forgetting and I'm grateful because I haven't cleaned stalls in 10 days, well more than that now actually. And then plus when I was cleaning stalls right before that, it was like miserable because of the shavings. So maybe it's just like, I mean, shavings euphoria. That's what it is, right Mike? Yeah. So he is working on Louis stall. What are you doing back there, Dinky? Doing? Funny little goat. Oh my gosh, I called her a goat. She's not a goat. I called her a goat earlier too. Oh my gosh, I keep calling her a goat. I just swear they're like all one in the same. They all are goats. Do you guys see this? This summer store is almost all gone. I don't know if you guys have been kind of following her summer store in each video, but finally it's like almost gone. This one did not come back this year, which I'm very grateful for, but obviously you guys know how bad this one was. And it looks beautiful. Hi babies. Hi buddies. What are you all gonna go in trigger stall? Hi mama's boy. Oh, I miss you. He needs a good grooming. Oh my gosh, she's so dirty. 
feels so good to be back in this barn and looking at everybody. Hi, Louie, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Guys, this is the longest I was ever away, like at a single time from all of my animals. Actually, I was gonna say my horses, but all of my animals. You're a little dirty too, you guys must have rolled. I was um, just looking at June and I noticed something, not the best. Um, her eye is right on this side of her looking really cloudy. So of course it's the weekend and I, um, you know, don't have a vet with normal hours on the weekend. So I just had to stop filming and I had to call the vet. Um, that was very unplanned. So hopefully um, that isn't taken care of too late now, um, which is a bummer because eyes are really serious and her eye looks pretty cloudy and I do not like the way that her eye looks. So waiting on the vet to call me back to see what we're gonna do. Of course, it's always um, perfect timing around here, I swear. So that's what we're doing now. It wouldn't be my life if something always was going on. So waiting for um, the vet to call back now. Getting everybody fed. Cashy. Cashy, Cashy, Cashy. He's eating, he does not care about me at all. Please. You want some hay? You're going out there. So we're gonna just let him probably, are we keeping him in then or we let him out? What? So Blaze is gonna go out and Junie will stay in just till we hear word from the vet. Go on, buddy. Bye-bye. I know, your girl has to stay in. Anyways, while we wait for the vet to call us back, um, we actually, while I was gone, had a, another hurricane. It wasn't on the same coast as we live on though. So when I say coast, um, since Florida is so big, different things can happen on different sides of the coast. So um, I live on the west coast, let's just say, um, of South Florida. And then the hurricane actually hit the east coast of Florida. Um, but we did feel like, I guess, some outer bands of it, which was just a big rainstorm, a lot of rain all at once, some wind, but I wasn't even here for it. So, meanwhile, our grass was looking so good. We didn't have a drop of water on the ground. Mike was sending me pictures when I was in Italy of the grass, and I was like so excited to come home to it. And then we have a hurricane, not us directly, but the state of Florida had a hurricane, brought a ton of water. So now, of course, the pasture is flooded once again, but I still want to show you how good it looks still because the grass was getting so long that the grass is actually peeking out of where the water was. So I'm going to show you. So as you can see, we are flooded again, but if you guys remember one of my last videos that I did before I went to Italy, this was all gone and it was cleared up. But if you see, look at all the grass that was like not there, non-existent. It's so tall that it's above the water. And then even if you look all the way down there, it's so nice and green and luscious. So there's hope for this front pasture. We were waiting till this front patch would be completely dry and not so soft so that we could get rid of that tree. And of course, just in time, when it would have been the time, we have this rain, so the tree remains in the pasture. Who knows, we'll get it out, you know, one day. So yeah, this is a little bit of a bummer, but now I know that it's not forever because this grew back, so it's not permanent. We just need the water to go away and we'll be fine. And then as far as the back pasture goes, kind of same thing, it was dried up. The grass was starting to grow, not as quickly as the front though, because we do have all the horses on it, but still it looks really good. A lot of the grass has grown back, even right here where we tore it all up with the side-by-side -side and the skid steer. You can see all these new little pop-ups of grass happening. So again, it's also hopeful, especially with all these horses on it. It's not getting completely depleted, but you can kind of see, I haven't showed you guys from this angle in a while, how many trees like we don't really have left. We just have this pile right here. So we had that power for a while, but it's dwindled a lot since we've been working on it. And obviously we haven't worked on it in a while now. But these guys are eating their hay together. So I got some cow feed. We don't typically feed them in the morning. It was just kind of a mistake. We already poured it, so we're feeding them. And then far down there, I got some pig feed. Then we got two bales of hay back here for the cows. And then Mike is walking over some chicken feed. We have to go feed the chickens and everybody over there. Whoops, sorry Mike. So we're headed over there. I'm very excited to go see my pigs because, um, you know, I think it was now like 14 days ago, two weeks ago, we moved over the coon coons to that coop out there or the, the barn. But hold on, the vet's calling. Boris, what's going on? 
Um, so my horse, her eye is like super cloudy and it looks like there's like one central area that's like the center of the cloudiness, I guess I should say, but we don't like recollect her getting hurt or anything like that, but it just, and it's like there's eye boogies on it, so it doesn't look like it's doing great. And of course with the eyes, I get worried. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so we always consider eyes emergencies. I mean, you would definitely yeah. recommend it getting seen, correct? Yep. Okay. Um, are you able to trailer her into the clinic? Um, yeah. Mike's dropping the first bale because we're actually going to go into this pasture. Um, and so he's going to drop that, and now I'm going to back up. Beware! Oh, what was that? Fence post? Oh my gosh. I ran over a fence post. I said fence post. Yep. Too late. Woohoo! So now that that's done, we need to go feed them. As you guys heard, what's going on? Mike, I need to get over. I don't want to tear up the grass. Guys, we're having technical difficulties. Since I ran over the fence post, now I need to give it some speed, Mike says. And I'm trying to film all at the same time. Woohoo! Over the fence post. Oh, gosh. So, um, as you guys heard, basically the vet agreed. Eyes are emergencies. Oh, go ahead. And we knew that. That's why I called it in in the first place. I never mess around with horses' eyes. There's a lot of things that I know how to, like, let's say, treat on a horse um, in terms of ailments. But eyes are not one. So, unfortunately, that's an added crazy expense because it's an emergency and yada, yada, yada. And I have to trailer her there anyways. So, we are going to finish feeding, which is fine because we didn't really have anything to do anyways today. Um gonna feed and then we're gonna load June up this was like not at all what I was vlogging about but this is what we're vlogging about now so let's go it's always more fun when it's you know spontaneous vet trips right right Mike right. yeah all right watch out chickens chasing my chickens hello piggies hi piggies how are you guys doing oh my gosh Cookie, you haven't even been out here long. They look like they've tripled in size. Oh my gosh, so. yes. They look so much bigger. Cookie, how tall are you? Well, they stayed and now their pen is like really nasty. It's a really good thing that we put this up when we did because they obviously were able to stay out of the rain a bit, but now they like live like pigs. I cannot wait to move them over. This one got a bit muddy obviously because the roof is still not fixed, so bummer, but they're pigs, so this is like luxury to them, honestly, because they've positioned their pig loo right in the middle of a swamp. That's how you know they love it. My piggies! Hey time, chickies. The coop is due for another cleaning. That's something that needs to be... Oh, oh gosh. That's something that needs to get done here. Very soon, and if you guys can't hear, just in time for a nice rainstorm, another rainstorm. I don't know why we need any more rain. It's literally the middle of November. Why is it raining? I'm so tired of the rain. Well, last thing that we have to do is we're gonna give the cows their grain, and they're not really used to ever getting grain during the morning feeding. So let's see if they'll run to us. Come on, babies. We've got food. Albie is the only smart one. <laughs> he knows where the real good stuff is. <laughs> Mike, stop. This poor cow. Jojo, you realized. You chunky heifer. Oh, food. Moose. Moose, you're missing out. I think he's Yeah, he's eating the hay by himself now. This is how you can tell. Mike has been by himself for the last two weeks. They're there, 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 everywhere, literally. So now I'm going around and I'm collecting all of these fun stuff. They literally are everywhere. We just feed them hay so often and they go through so many bales of hay so quickly. Now that we finished just feeding, which is fine because 
the vet had a little bit of a ways to come too, so it worked out good. So now Mike is connecting his truck to the trailer. I'm gonna get her haltered up so that we can get her in the trailer and get her rushed over to the vet so that we can get this figured out. I've never actually used this um, actual doctor. It's the same vet office that I usually use. I've never used this doctor though. Um, so hopefully she's really knowledgeable just because the eyes are so serious. So just a little bit nervous about that, which maybe I shouldn't be, but you know, I just have to be an advocate for my horse and just fingers crossed that um, she's really knowledgeable. And I'm hoping that we caught this early on because her eye is very cloudy. So, and I'll show you guys her eye once I get her um, halted up. I just realized that I hadn't done that. I was in just like a rush of trying to call my vet and get everything done. So yeah, I'm gonna get her halted up because he's coming right now. So I'm gonna try my best to show you, but if you guys see, it's like a little cloudy dot in there. I know, I'm bugging you. So I first noticed that she had some eye boogies and then it's a little cloudy. There it is, right there. So I'm very observant. I always check things over. I check like their hoofs, their eyes and things like that just to always make sure because those are more emergencies and I always do my little checks when I come out here and look at them. So that's how I noticed. Even typically the slightest thing that goes wrong with them, I am pretty good about noticing. He's backing the trailer up now so we can just load her up. route to bring her to the vet clinic now. Um, it's raining, of course, just our luck. Very lucky day we have going on here, um, it seems. What do you think, Mike, about our luck today? Seems like a regular day. Yeah. So, I'll update you guys when we get there. All right, well, we made it to the vet. Jenny, we made it. I don't know why you keep doing this to us. <laughs> lock the muscle in her eyes so we can actually look at it and they put the green stain in and it's not showing any like actual like superficial penetrating or it's not showing any penetrating cut okay that was a pretty quick one i'll explain everything when we get into the car <laughs> quick spin around beep, 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 beep. in the trailer you go girl <laughs> okay what are you talking to you just realized we got here yeah i think so she's a little behind so Here's the rundown. And I'm glad that we took her. Um, basically, what they um, said it was is that it's a superficial ulcer. Um, superficial or non superficial? Yeah, either small. one of those. Small ulcer. Um, so they didn't see anything, like I was telling you guys when we were in there, anything that was like penetrating through to the cornea. Um, so no like actual cut or like real abrasion. So that's good. The green dye did not. Um, you know indicate anything like that so this could have been something that got in her eye before irritated her eye before and now it's become like an ulcer um she still is able to see mike like put his hand right here and she reacted to it and the um, vet also said that you know she's able to see so that's good we just really need to watch the ulcer now um because the eye is pretty cloudy so we're glad that we took her um we got two medicines so um one I've used before if you guys have been an OG on my channel you'll know that at the last property Cash had gotten hay stuck in his eye and then it ended up cutting his eye and this is actually a really fun video that I was doing and I was staying in the horse's stall for 24 hours and then I had to break it before the 24 hours because Cash needed um, to go to the vet so things like that 
So this one is the triple antibiotic. This stuff actually works really well. I really like this stuff. We actually probably have some on hand, but if there's an opportunity to get more, I'm gonna get more. And then the second one, we do these both um, twice a day. So this is the second one. And basically what she was saying is that um, she could tell that the eye was in pain because the pupil was dilating. Um, it was like causing it to spasm. So she was like saying that that indicates pain. So this one helps the pupil not do that. So we'll do both of those twice a day for about a week. But she did say that I need to like watch it like a hawk for the next couple days, just to make sure that it doesn't get any bigger. So we are now on eye watch duty and fingers crossed that these medicine just go into effect and get it going and it doesn't get any bigger. We are back home. It's time to get our girl out. Hey June. So while we were there, they actually administered these two medicines. So we won't have to do it again till later tonight. Hey. Looking Hi, Missy. Better. Looking better? Oh, it's pretty good. She's got the goop out of it now. Oh, good. So now she is required to wear a fly mask because like she referred to it as when you get your eyes dilated and you have to wear those funky looking glasses. But um, so I have this fly mask once upon a time. June has gone through two different pink fly masks and they're no longer existing on this earth. So she's gonna get this one and hopefully she keeps it on because she actually really needs it. We're gonna give you this and then we're gonna let you out. They said it was fine if she could go out, which is good. You just need to keep an eye if she's like rubbing on it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna put this on you. Okay. All right, so she is good to go outside, which is good anyways. We don't want any flies to be in it. You ready? You look like a little bug. All right, you know where to go, Junie. This is how she knows how to go out into the barn or in the pasture. Go in there, make way, wet donkey. Why would you stand out there when you had the stall door open? You're soaked. So if we actually go back all the way to the very intro of this video, when I told you that something tragic happened to one of our animals when I wasn't here, I haven't even talked about in this vlog. The reason for this vlog, the main topic of this vlog, is while I was in Italy, something very tragic happened to one of our animals. So long story short, this is not even what I was gonna tell you guys about in this video. This kind of just happened, and that's kind of how things go with having horses. This is why I like to always keep it real with you guys, because unexpected, unpredictable, things like this can happen all the time with horses. It's very, very common. Um, so that being said, that was not what I was gonna talk to you guys about, but that just happened and we dealt with it. So that's what today's vlog ended up turning into. So I'm actually not even gonna go into that whole story anyways, um, but I will tell you guys in um, another vlog coming up because I wanna talk to you guys about that too because there's a lot of like awareness with animals in this subject too. It's a very common thing as well. But I'm not gonna go into that in this vlog just because so much is already going on in this vlog. But yeah, just so you know, what I talked about in the very beginning of this intro that something happened to one of our animals that you guys don't know about yet, that you guys will know about, that you were supposed to know about in this vlog is not gonna be told in this vlog. So it will be in another vlog. So you might see this one and then be like, oh no, something's happening more. That's kind of how it goes like around here with a lot of our animals, like one will get sick and, or hurt and then literally back to back, we'll be like boom, boom, boom. Animals will get sick, hurt and then it goes away for many, many months, and then no one gets hurt or sick, and then it's all great, and then it just happens. So it's kind of what I feel like we're in the midst of right now, and we're just trying to get out of it again. So you guys will see a video, and that one's a bit more serious than um, this injury. So we'll talk about that in another video. But anyways, so it's been a couple hours now, and she still has her mask on, so that's good. She didn't take it off, so that makes me happy. We'll check on the actual eye a little bit later, but for now, I'm not gonna disturb her. She seems to be doing good out there. All right, you guys, well, that is pretty much it for today's vlog, a very unexpected happening in today's vlog. Definitely can't plan stuff like that, but I am glad to have been home to catch that and be here to help Mike because the other injury that I was telling you guys about with another animal, I was not here to help him. So yeah, that's a whole other story, like I said, but I've pretty much seen all of our animals. The only animal I haven't seen yet is Petey, um, our little black cat. So she's probably just on the prowl still but I'm very excited to see her and I'm very excited to be back home. And I don't think I ever wanna leave again. <laughs> I missed home so much, I miss my animals, I'm so happy to be here. So um, basically I'm gonna spend the rest of my day hanging out with them and trying to get this barn in order. I think one of these days here soon we're gonna do another like big cleaning of the barn because it just really needs to be clean. Going into winter, so we have a lot of stuff to do. 
So be on the lookout for those videos, cleaning the barn, cleaning the chicken coop, and everything else that we're going to be doing in the winter months because winter is coming up fast. If you guys like today's chaotic, unexpected vlog, then make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. I see how many of you guys actually are watching and aren't subscribed. It shows me. So if you are watching and aren't subscribed, make sure, just double check that you are subscribed. Make sure you have that bell notification on. And for some reason, sometimes you guys don't get those notifications. So just come back and check on my channel twice a week because I post twice a week. So there's a good chance that you might find new videos because a lot lately you guys keep saying things that you guys should be caught up on that you didn't even know. Someone the other day commented on one of my videos when we were moving the pigs and said that they didn't even know that we had gotten pigs. And we've had our coon coon pigs for a while. So that was somebody that was not subscribed or not have their post notifications on and haven't been keeping up. So just kidding you guys. If you don't want to subscribe, it's fine. But it really helps support my channel. All right, you guys, well, we love you and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, and by the way, if you aren't subscribed to my second channel, I'm about to bust out a bunch of videos on that channel in the next um, like week or so. I have so many videos from when I was in Italy. So make sure you go check out that channel. It's always linked in my bio down below.